This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the 2022 Libra Full Moon. The full moon takes place on April 16th, 2022 at 11.54 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time, 2.54 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time, 6.54 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time. At 26 degrees Aries, 45 minutes, 26 degrees Libra, 45 minutes. Relationships are up for review and reworking under the Libra full moon. Turning points are everywhere. A long time coming, inescapable, inevitable, and game-changing. Don't fear the Reaper. You will likely be welcoming change, if not making it happen yourself. Every full moon brings situations and emotions related to them to a head. Dramas currently under review involve the relationship axis of Aries and Libra, home to the eternal challenge of balancing being an individual and existing with others. With both cosmic change agents in the thick of the action, this full moon carries intensity and quick changes fit for an eclipse. Libra's ruler, Venus, may be in the fairy tale, love is all around, mode of Pisces, but this moon says otherwise. It's directing attention relentlessly, firmly, insistently to the sturdiness, supportiveness, and supportability of connections, arrangements, and agreements. What feels reliable? What do we want for the long haul? Much of the review is targeting situations that have been part of the foundations of existence, long-standing, close, committed, with the assumption that they'd be with us for life. Some situations involve specific people or relationships. Others are more the ground rules, often internal, that have governed our interactions. This full moon promises an epidemic of line drawing and amendments to contracts, all with indelible ink of boldly wielded scalpels and of hands pulling life support plugs without hesitation. Realizations, in many cases, are coming out of the blue. Action, in many cases, is coming out of the blue. But the targets have all been making themselves known for months or longer. The full moon since October have all exactly aspected Pluto, Lord of Death and Regeneration, an agent of unavoidable change. This month's Libra full moon carries on that process by locking closely but not exactly into him as the focal point of a T-square, a dynamic configuration that seesaws between individual agency, sun in Aries, and another person or relationship, moon in Libra, and pits pressure from both ends against permanent evolutionary structural change, Pluto in Capricorn. It's a powerful and profound moment of something's got to give. The pressure on Pluto could be dredging up secrets and revelations and power issues that have been swirling beneath the surface. Your attitude could, and probably will, change in an instant. Mercury, ruler of our minds and information flow, is conjunct radical awakening Uranus, agent of unpredictable change. Their teeming flips a switch that changes attitudes, thinking, and perspectives. It may come in a conversation. It may be a freestanding aha moment. Suddenly, your mind is liberated. Suddenly, you see a situation in a way you hadn't. Likely, you'll experience this as a positive development. The moon's ruler Venus is sextile Mercury and Uranus. A flip in perspective could open you to the experience of love. If nothing else, you could rewrite or even end relationships with kindness and genuine caring. 
Coming to grips with illusion is a factor in some of the situations under review. The moon's in conjunct to Jupiter and Neptune, conjunct in Pisces, is pointing out where people have overly romanticized a connection or where relationships have been affected by substance abuse, theirs or the other person's, or where people have, in general, deluded themselves. The same aspect also offers the possibility of compassion and forgiveness pouring into and softening the decisions and restructurings coming now, if we make adjustments to welcome the higher view. It's not necessarily a pain for pain and upheaval. You may have more control than you think going into this full moon, and as it plays out, the process is likely to be more stabilizing than you might expect. The moon is trying Saturn, planet of adulting, and ruler of order, structure, and responsibility. This link is a grounding cord. It puts big kid pants on all of us. The trine is giving us a more than fighting chance of negotiating this full moon maturely and respectfully. There will be moments of discomfort, to be sure. Plutonian strikes can hurt like hell. Uranian switch flipping can startle, shock, and stun. Yet, forces are nudging us along toward a stabler, more secure fulfillment of our values and worth with the moon in the tap-tap-tapping throes of a semi-sextile to the north node. So, don't fear the reaper. Invite him in. Dance with him. Create your own dance and lead it. I'm Kathy Beal, a professional astrologer with more than 30 years' experience. Visit my site, empowermentunlimited.net, to sign up for my mailing list, listen to my weekly podcasts, and book a session with me. I host the show Celestial Compass on On Times Radio on the first and third Monday of every month at 5 p.m. Eastern. I also host Lively Conversation on Facebook at Empowerment Unlimited and the group The Astro Insight Lounge. I have a lot of bonus content at patreon.com slash Kathy Beal, and I'm really grateful to the people who support my work there. I post on Instagram at, at Beal and on YouTube at the Professional Aquarian Channel.